Sigmund, Elliot, John, fans, the right. John, you're not on this contract, so you were ineligible in that match. So therefore, I have to disqualify Ryan Dukey because you were not the legal man. So gentlemen, according to this contract, I... I, I will have an investigation on that, John. We will do an investigation on, on Marty being attacked in the back. But at this time, I have to ask James, I need those tag team titles. John Noble was not the legal man, so therefore, he is ineligible. Your tag team champions are the Heat Seekers. I need those belts, referee. John, I'm sorry you were ineligible. You were not on the contract. I will do an investigation on what happened to Marty, but at this time, I have to give the tag team championships back to the Heat Seekers because, John, you were an uneligible participant. I'm sorry. It states right here in the contract. You weren't on it. I do believe you. That's why I will have a full-scale investigation on what happened. But as much as I hate to do it, you were uneligible, John. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, we heard it first here from Scott Diamond. It appears that John Noble was, in fact, ineligible for that match, even though he is eligible to wrestle which in itself, even though they did not catch gold tonight, that is fantastic news for the AMW fans and future episodes of AMW television. John Noble will be back, I can promise you that. There will be a rematch, I can promise you that. So much going on with the Southeast. Hey, yo, Scotty! Oh, listen, I know it's not your fault, but I'm a little perturbed. I clearly won the tag titles with John Noble tonight. Now, I know technicality, John Noble's name wasn't on the contract, but he got a pin, he got a one, two, three in the middle of the ring in a tag team title match for the belts. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little upset about it. And I would really like a rematch. You know, Ryan, it was touch and go there for a minute. Very honorable thing that you've done there. But again, as much as I hate it, John Noble was ineligible. But I'll tell you what, Ryan, you did a good thing out there. If you get you a partner, I will give you another match with the Heat Seekers. So if I get a partner, I will get a rematch against the Heat Seekers for the AMW Tag Team Titles. You got it. You get a partner, I'll make it happen. I'm holding you to that. You're a good man. Alrighty. So much work going on. Yeah, let me get back. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the Heat Seekers. Boys, we saw last week here on AMW Television <clears throat> that you took on Ryan Dookie after you beat up Marty Fugate. Hey, who hey, was hey, we did no such thing. We were doing our, our pre-match rituals. We were warming up. Some kid gets in our way. Elliot pushes him out of the way. We can't help that. We can't help that. And then we get in the ring with Ryan Dookie. Two on one because he's a brave man. He did, he put up a good fight. But then John Noble, John Noble, who's not been around for a little bit. John Noble, who's not been licensed for a while in the state of Kentucky, decides to show up. He brings a piece of paper saying he's medically cleared, and that's great. We're happy for John. We're glad he's feeling a lot better, John. But he shows up, he throws the paper down, he stands on the apron like he's involved in the match. He stands there and sticks out his hand like it's going to do something for himself. Because he didn't want to show up at the beginning of the match, you see. He just wanted to show up at the very end and cash in the reward. So he stands there, and then they get in the ring with us. Shenanigans happen, okay? It, it was what it was. We weren't prepared for John Noble right off the bat. But the most important thing coming out of that match is the Heat Seekers walk out, still 
AMW Tag Team Champions. You think that you can step in the ring with us and try to outsmart us. You think that just because you're not around for a while and you come back to AMW, you can step on the apron and get the gold. No, it doesn't happen that way. You have to earn it. He was not in the contract. The contract said Ryan Duke, he already feud it. John Noble had nothing to do with this scenario. So therefore, and I'm in the right on this, I promise you I am. We legitimately, legally remain AMW Tag Team Champions, and we remain the most dominant wrestling tag team in AMW and in independent wrestling today. These titles are going nowhere, and whoever steps in the ring with us, beware, because we'll beat you too. Welcome, folks, to this week's edition of Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Television. Thank you for joining us, and please continue enjoying us every single week on your local cable provider. Uh, we want to thank you uh, for joining us this evening, and we also want to thank our sponsors. We have uh, Collar and Elbow uh, Wrestling Brand, the Good Brothers, Inc., the Beard and Blevins Law Offices, as well as AAA Real Estate. Uh, as well as we also need to uh, thank the Miller Family Fund Center for hosting and letting this become Appalachian Mountain Wrestling's home. My name is Samuel Theodore Duncan. I am joined here by the fabulous Scott Diamond for this first episode in tonight's ep uh, episode of Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Television. How are you doing this week, Scott? I'm doing really good. A lot of exciting things happening here at Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. You know, Samuel... Uh, like we've got in the ring here, it's another match for uh, for some young wrestler, or, or you know, uh, to move on in our tournament to see who will wrestle for the new Southern uh, Southeastern uh, Heavyweight Championship. Absolutely, and we want to thank you <clears throat> if you're joining us for just the first time to to catch you up to speed. What we have here is we're having we're bringing in an entirely new championship to Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, even though it's a title that is, is an ode in honor of a very prestigious traditional title that was used in the NWA as well as all across the Appalachian Mountain Territory back in the day, the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship. And how this tournament is going to work is we have 16 scramble matches that are going to continue on as, as we've already seen in the past few weeks. And there's already been a few that have moved on in the tournament. And out of the winners of those 16 scramble matches, we're going to have four or two uh, four corner matches and the winners of those two four corner matches, four way matches are going to move on to a singles match for to be crowned the new AMW Southeastern Heavyweight title or champion. So as we see Bo James already throwing those stiff punches that he's always been known to throw uh, taking the new assassin number two down as he delivers another one to the midsection there they call him handsome Bo James, and you know, I don't know about that, but I do know Bo James has been around a long, long time. He's a crafty, seasoned veteran. And let me tell you, he knows where he's at every second that he's in that ring, and this kid right here has got problems. Absolutely. You know, you take a look at, at uh, oh, and as soon as we start, the match is over. And the winner of this bout, Bo James! Bo James, you've just won your first scramble match in the tournament to determine the, the new Southeastern Heavyweight Championship. What are you looking forward to next? I'm looking for somebody with a little bit more competition than that guy right there had. Because I feel like if I'm going to be the champion, then I've got to work my way there. And that guy wasn't much of a challenge out here. And I feel like I might have treated these people a little under shortcut them a little bit, but that's a win for me. But I know you got a lot of tough guys in this deal. I know you got a lot of guys that's held titles all over the country. I know you got guys that know how to fight, know how to get down and dirty, know how to break the rules, and they know how to win main event matches. But you're looking at one right here too. 
So whoever it is, Mr. Diamond, you put them in front of me, and with all these people behind me, this Tennessee soup bone right here is going to knock them out one by one. Thank you very much. Wrestling fans, now the very best wrestling action in the Southeast is at your fingertips. That's right, the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Network is live and online. See the very best wrestlers today competing in traditional hard-hitting action straight into your living room. See legends of the ring like the Rock and Roll Express, Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant, Al Snow, Scott Hall, AJ Styles, and many more. Over 125 hours. For only $4.99 a month. Yes, it's $4.99 a month. But wait, if you sign up right now, you get a week absolutely free. See the very best from the Southeast and from other promotions all around the world. Go to www amwrestlingnetwork.com today. Get your free trial and help make wrestling great again. Next week on AMW TV, you've got Jeremiah Plunkett, AMW newcomer, in the Southeastern Scramble match. You know, Randall Shane, you're talking about the, the new AMW Southeastern Heavyweight Championship. That's a tribute to the old Southeastern Heavyweight Championship, held by the likes of Ronnie Garvin, Macho Man Savage, Leapin' Lenny, to name others. I'm so excited that they're granting me the opportunity to be in a match to compete for that championship. And you know, I've never personally met Jeremiah Plunkett, I've never wrestled him. It's, it's new. A whole new ground for Kyle Macker, but I hear great things about him. I hear he wrestles all the top stars. I hear he gets wins over the top stars. He's beating people up. He's training all these newcomers. I'm hearing great things about Jeremiah Plunkett. But I can tell you this much. Jeremiah, if you think you're coming into Eastern Kentucky into Kyle Maggard's territory and you're going to get a win, you've got another thing coming. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Main event, uh, Samuel Duncan. Yeah, this is our main event of the evening here for the MW World Heavyweight Champion, Ace Jackson, a young newcomer who has earned his shot here against Sexy Stan Sierra for his title. Well, you'll remember a couple of weeks ago, uh, Stan Sierra had called me out complaining about John Noble. Uh, Ace Jackson kind of coming out saying he'd like a shot and so here we are a couple weeks later on AMW television it comes to pass I believe we can expect a whole lot more of that in this match until Sexy Santiera can get his hands on Ace Jackson and slow him down to his speed well that would be the benefit to Ace Jackson because uh, you know he's got to use that speed and agility that he has if not Stan Sierra will just like he right there you see it he muscled him right back into the corner Absolutely, but once again, like I was saying, Ace Jackson just squirms out uh, un from under Stan Sierra's clothesline there. He is quick, and it would behoove him to stay on those wheels and keep rolling around and uh, not allow the champ to get a hold to him. Yeah, his, his best course of action here, in my opinion, is to basically stay on his toes, keep, keep letting the cat chase the mouse. And that way it, it wears down Stan Sierra, even though he, he's very well built, you know, and, and he can go for quite a long time in a match. The more you miss, the more frustrated you get, which it wears down on a guy like Stan Sierra, both mentally and physically. Ace Jackson needs to keep ducking and dodging these blows. 
let Stancier get frustrated, get himself winded, and then Ace Jackson can, can start to open up possibly and maybe get an upper hand in this match and might possibly pull out this upset victory. There it is, that's that air we were talking about from Ace Jackson. Picture He's perfect. flying around that ring. Picture perfect drop kicks from Ace Jackson as he goes. He goes for the monkey flip, oh! And this kid is on fire. He's not even breathing heavy yet. Ace Jackson going for it again, oh! oh I think Stan Sierra may have taken this young man for granted Absolutely, he, he apparently did not do his homework on this young Ace Jackson. As oh. Ace Jackson pulls the, pulls the rope low, Stancier takes a tumble outside of the ring and, and Ace Jackson's getting the involvement of the crowd here. Are we about to see uh, a high risk maneuver from Ace Jackson here? Now Ace wants to be careful here. Oh my goodness. What a move, coming crashing down on the champion, Stan Sierra. Excuse me. Absolutely, as Ace Jackson, he, he's, he's feeling it. He's feeling the vibe, he's feeling the momentum here. This kid's this excited now, he, he needs to uh, think about what he's doing here. And Stan Sierra, he's going to what he knows. He's going to those cheating ways to, to regain that upper hand. Uh, I, I don't know about you, but I, I can't say I'm surprised. No, I, I can't say I'm surprised either. Uh, I've known Stan Sierra for many years, spent many years on the road with him myself, and I'll tell you, he's one tough individual. So, again, it would behoove Ace Jackson to stay on his feet and keep hitting him with these quick, powerful moves like that right there and keep Stan Sierra off his feet. Absolutely, as Ace Jackson hit that cannonball in the corner, and Stan Sierra able to kick out it too. I believe Ace Jackson is starting to get to, to Stan Sierra here, starting to wear him down. Reversal on the Irish whip, ducks the clothesline, the crossbody, but Stan Sierra catches him. Oh. Has him in his hand and gives him, delivers that fall away slam, throws him half, all the way across the ring. As if it were nothing. Stan Sierra going to the people, letting them know that he doesn't care what they think, he's the champ, and that's the way it is. And uh... Stan Sierra raking the eyes and choking him on that uh, middle rope there. The ref having to intervene. Crimson Daggers in a bad way right here. Stan Sierra, total control right here. Oh, big, huge right hand. And I, I know you've you've been up and down the roads with Stan Sierra before Scott Diamond. I know you know that right hand from Stan Sierra is like a cinder block falling on your face. I have seen Stan Sierra put many guys to sleep with that big right hand. You name them, he's been in the ring with them, and most of them he's beaten. I mean, the list is, is endless. Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, Bunkhouse Buck, you name it, anybody that is anybody, Stan Sierra has been in the ring with them. Yep, Al Snow. Al right. Snow, another one. Uh, you know, Stan Sierra is no slouch when you step inside the ring. Absolutely. Flexing for the crowd, I don't know if that's a smart or a wise decision on Stan Sierra's part, as it's given Ace Jackson a, a chance to catch his breath down there. Well, I'll tell you, Stan Sierra does not have, there it is, the count, one, two. He does not have a shortage of confidence when it comes to himself. That's true, he is one of the most self-centered, egotistical men in the ring today is Stan Sierra. You cannot argue with the results, uh, though again, Stan Sierra has held every major title in the state of Kentucky. Here's the Ace count. Jackson with the, the roll-up, and a kick out after two, that's what I was talking about. Oh. Stan Sierra giving Ace a, a chance to catch that breather. 
Well, Stancier is trying to argue with the children in the crowd over whether that was a three count or not. I believe Stan Sierra has just gotten angry. And the guy that's gonna pay for that, I believe is Ace Jackson. Well, little patient Stan Sierra is definitely completely sitting on empty now. As he's going to, he, he now realizes, I believe, and he's gotten a little taste of what he's facing in Ace Jackson and how hard uh, that Ace Jackson can, can try to hang with it. And now, you know, he, he's got the upper hand. He's got the momentum of this match swung in his favor. Ace Jackson, he keeps raking those eyes. Ace Jackson isn't going to know where he's at in the ring. He's not going to know what and when to duck. Very cerebral on the part of Sexy Stan Sierra here. Stan Sierra right there, Mr. Duncan. You've seen him drives Ace Jackson down to the mat. And Stan thought he had him. Absolutely, as we see Ace Jackson kick out one more time, I think this is the point in the match where we're going to see how deep Ace Jackson can dig down to, to keep himself in this match. He is in his first opportunity for an AMW Heavyweight Championship. <clears throat> Let's see how deep he can reach to pull out to see if he can stick out and possibly win AMW Championship Gold. Well, Ace Jackson, like you said, he's really going to have to dig deep. Uh, he started out looking pretty nice, staying on his wheels, high flying and moving around the ring. But Stan Sierra has cut that ring off, and now he is in total control of this match. Sexy Stan Sierra with another one of those clobbering right hands to the face of Ace Jackson. Followed up by a knee to the midsection. Taking Ace Jackson back to the ground here. I'll tell you what, Stan Sierra is on Ace Jackson like peanut butter on jelly. This young man right here, uh, he'll be lucky if he comes out of this match without any injuries. Stan has went to the vicious angle. There he is right there. I told you earlier, I thought he got upset, and he is just, uh, he's pulling everything out, including the kitchen sink. Absolutely, and if, if there's one thing, you know, similar to the Heat Seekers, one thing that Sexy Stan Sierra is known for, and why he is the AMW Heavyweight Championship right now, is he does whatever, and I mean whatever, that it takes to keep his hands on that championship gold. You're right, Samuel. You know, Stan Sierra for a long time has understood what it means to have a heavyweight championship. He likes the good life. He likes the way that uh, the girls flock around him. He likes the way that the money comes to him when he's holding that gold. So Stan Sierra is not going to give up any of those things, especially the gold, because that is the ticket that brings everything to his life. Absolutely. And it's an achievement that everyone here in the AMW locker room is, is working to achieve is that, that heavyweight championship pay status and all the glory and fame that, that comes with it. And that's why we have the, the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship Tournament going on right now. You know, we have 32 men competing in uh, that series of matches. And, and once we, in another few weeks, we're gonna have it down to eight men. And then from eight men, we're gonna have two men and those two men are gonna deem the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship. And that Southeastern Heavyweight Championship is just gonna do nothing but be a stepping stone into the Heavyweight Championship picture. And whoever wins that title is someone that Sexy Stan Sierra needs to keep in the back of their head. You're exactly right. Uh, but here's Ace Jackson. He took control with a Frankensteiner off the top. Now the DDT, he's feeling pretty confident. 
Stantiera kicks out after two there. Ace Jackson gaining some momentum here. He, like I mentioned earlier, he's got that cardio advantage over Stantiera, I do believe. He's that tilt-a-world bulldog. Almost, that was close, Samuel. And that was close. I think this young man just realized how close he was to becoming the most prestigious guy in the area. So he's setting up. Looks like Ace Jackson setting up for a, for a super kick here possibly. Oh, and, and he it landed. lands right to the jaw of Sexy Stantiera <clears throat> as he goes for the hook and pin. I'll tell you, that was an inch away from us having a new AMW heavyweight champion. That's the closest that kid ever came to being a champion. And let me tell you, he was really close. We're going to see some great things out of this young man, I have a feeling. Absolutely. But right now, Ace Jackson going for a high-risk maneuver that did not pay off as Stan Sierra ducks the crossbody from Ace Jackson. Ace Jackson... Uh, immediately feeling remorse as Stan Sierra grabs him from the back. The ripcord. And turns a, him inside oh out. Almost took his head off right there with the ripcord clothesline. I believe line. that's it. And Stan Sierra retains his AMW heavyweight title. That'll do it for us here at the main event. The winner of this match and still AMW heavyweight champion, Sexy Stan Sierra! Well, hang on just a minute here, Scott Harvey. Sexy Stan Sierra went under the ring for a chain for a dog collar, it looks like. Wait a minute, what, what's going on here? This does not look good. Uh, and he is. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, Scott Diamond, you need to get in there. You, you need to get someone from the back. You need to get someone in here. He is choking the life out of Ace Jackson. Someone needs to stop this right now. And here comes John Noble in. John Noble pulling Sexy San Sierra off Ace Jackson. John Noble is, is he isn't dipping his toes back in the AMW waters. He is diving head first and going after Sexy San Sierra. We saw him last week go after uh, the, the tag team championship champions, the Heat Seekers, and now he's going after the heavyweight champion, San Sierra. Now John Noble getting choked. Scott Diamond needs to get somebody out here. But that is all the time we have here, folks. That is all the time we have here, folks. We need to, uh, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, hopefully John Noble will be here to see you as well. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week.